Welcome! Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly. Jacques! Oh! Jacques! Oh! Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Titans schedule has been released. It is here, Jacques. Yes, sir, it is. Oh, yes. It is here. It just released, what, about, damn, about 10 minutes ago, if that? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It released. Yep. It's released, nope. man. It, leaks had already been starting to leak out, like a leaky faucet. So we had already kind of knew, like, the first five games. But, yeah, this is schedule is interesting. We're going to talk about yes. it, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, y'all, listen. <clears throat> If you have not followed us, man, follow us here on Bleacher Report as well on Tennessee Titans Weekly on YouTube. Every year for the last five years, we do the prediction show. This is very, very early. So we want to tell y'all up What we say today might be something we say different tomorrow. But we're going to go off fresh on what we know today on the rosters that's out there and, you know, the home game, away game. We're going to go through each game and we're going to break it down for our very early Titans win and loss prediction show. Most definitely, man. It's like you said, we we do this, we do this show later in the year, but again, they it's it's early. So, like you said, it's subject to change, especially with training camp. You hear news coming in, you see preseason games, things are subject to change. But this is our raw emotions when it's just actually dropping. So we really didn't get a chance to like view it. So we're viewing it with you, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time. So you're gonna get a raw reaction and raw emotion and we already got some chat 17 and 0 from marco 71 Again, <laughs> i love doing this show because it, it we we are never really close it's, it's crazy so it it just yeah. you can see you can see the bias in it sometime even from our our perspective as well it's like man That's we're right. gonna go 14 and 5 and i, I think last yeah. one year i predicted freaking what was it like 14 and 3 and we went yeah. like freaking what yeah. I think it was like 10 games. Yeah, so I, I, I love doing these little predictions, man. Me too. It's and, y'all, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep it as real as possible. We'll have a – right before the season starts, we'll have another prediction show. But this is, as of today, very early prediction show. All right, y'all. Yes, so, yes, sir. So you all see here, this is the full scale here. Oh, didn't pull up. It's got, it's got you on there for some reason, Jop. Okay, I don't you know got to move that. around. Look. Yeah. Right. There we go. All right. So here is the schedule right here, y'all. All right. So well, you all can see here as well. We got the full schedule. It has been leaked. Shout out to everybody watching the show as well. We're going to go through each game. Okay. So, Jacques, I'm going to start off with you first, bro. All right. So game one, September mm -hmm. 8th, Dang. the Tennessee Titans play the Chicago Bears in Chicago, Jacques. Okay. So talk to me, bro. What you think, man? Um... You're going up against a rookie, Caleb Williams, um, which that's an advantage because we don't know what he's going to be. They're trying to say he's the second coming of Patrick Mahomes, which I don't believe that just yet. Um, we have a reunion with Byard. I know Byard signed a contract with the Bears. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 1-0, and oh, man. I, I'm, I, it's a W just because of the fact that you're going against a rookie quarterback early. Um, our defense, I still have enough confidence in our defense, even though it's a new defensive coordinator, uh, new pieces to the defense. I feel like it'll be a little rust early, but you can manipulate that when it comes to a rookie quarterback. So I'm saying one and oh, man. I, I know it's crazy, but W for uh, for the Bears, from my perspective. What about you? Okay. All right. So for me, Sean, looking at this game, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, to your point, we have a rookie quarterback in Caleb Williams, a rookie receiver in Roma Dunze. When I look at the Chicago Bears, they're still a team in development. I think from a roster standpoint, I think Chicago still has struggles with their offensive line. I think they have struggles in their run game. And I think they have struggles in up front. Yes, they signed Jalen Johnson a corner, but that's it. I actually think this will be a win for the Tennessee Titans as well, too, man. So those in the, in the chat as well, man, hey, throw your throw your thoughts out there as well. We got one uh, Swing man says W for the Bears, actually. A win versus the Bears. So I'm taking I'm, – I've got a win right here, Jacques. I got a win here, bro. I, I got a win. So, I like so yeah, Chicago Bears. We're one and oh, Jock. We're one and oh, bro. One and oh. All right. One and oh, Tennessee. All right. Next game that we have, Jock. All right. So, week number two. It's actually, this game is actually a road game. And we have to go to New York and we got to play the New York Football Jets. 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one, Jock. This is actually a home game. Excuse me. So I'm looking at this. They got Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, if healthy, is a problem. They have Gary Wilson. They got a good running back in Brees Hall. And more importantly, they got a great defense. With a young quarterback that we have, man, it could be a problem for us. He's got to throw against Sauce Gardner. I, you know, I really think, man, this could be a tough game for us, man. September 15th, Jock, I'm taking a loss on this one, bro, against the Jets, man. If Aaron Rodgers is healthy. If he's not, that's a win, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna say a loss assuming he's healthy. What about you, Jock? Um, uh, man, I I I I have to mimic that, man, because again, they have a great defense. Their defense has been solid for these past couple of years, man. It's just the quarterback position that they've struggled with. And like you said, if Aaron Rodgers is healthy, then it, it it could be a tough sledding. I don't think we're going to get blown out. I think it'll be a good close game. But just from the quarterback experience that we have against a tough defense like that, I'm going to L as well, man. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm also putting down what you all are saying in the chat. So the chat also has this as a loss. They had the Bears as a win. So right now, Jacques, mm -hmm. you and me both, along with those that are in the chat, right now we are one and one right now, Jacques. Okay, all right, next game that we have. This is also a road game. So two road games back-to-back. -back. Home, home game. Home yeah. game, sorry. This is a home game. So we have two home games. Two out of the three games is going to be at home. This one is on September 22nd against the Green Bay Packers. John, talk to me. What do you think about Green Bay, bro? Um, I like what Green Bay is, is starting to do. They're starting to come on. Uh, but to me, I, I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's a fluke. We don't know, right? Uh, they got Jordan Love, who actually is pretty solid. But I think when it comes to this particular game, we just came off a loss from the Jets. I like our chances against the Packers. I do, even though they're a playoff team, I think we can win a close one, maybe a field goal. But I think we can win a close game against Green Bay. I'm giving it a win. What about you? Okay. Okay. All right. Jock has it as a win. Okay. So this is what I'm looking at. Those in the, in the comment section, throw your win losses out there, too. We got Jake Billing. We got we got several that's got win out there. Okay, cool. All right. So it all depends on Jordan Love in his second year as a starter. Um, you know, looking at their offense as their weapons. You know, they did lose Aaron Jones, but they do have Brandon. Uh, they have Josh Jacobs out there. Looking at their defense, they lost some players out as well on defense. But I'm gonna tell you this, man. This could be a struggle for us. I think, man. Um, I think more than anything, or based on Jordan Love, you know, at times the Titans make quarterbacks look great out there. Um, you know, looking at it being a home game could be an advantage for us. Um, I'm looking at this as a win for us because it's a home game. Um, I think Jordan Love is still trying to catch his bearing in that regard. I think offensively, we'll, we're going to be able to throw the ball. Yes, they got Jair Alexander out there, but you still can throw on the Green Bay Packers. You can run on the Packers. Um, I don't think they'll score enough. They do have some young talent out there, but I like our, I like our offense. I like our defense. I'm going with the win against the Green Bay Packers. All right, so we got we got those in the comments that actually has us as a win as well, too. So, folks, we're two and one right now. We're two and one. All right, Jacques, the mm -hmm. next game. All right, the next game is an away game, and it's a Monday night football game, okay? So I was privileged to go to this game last year in Miami. So the next game, game four, we play the Miami Dolphins. Where is the picture? There it is. Boom. The Miami Dolphins, away game. All right, so Jacques, for me mm – -hmm. We beat them last year, shockingly, mm -hmm. away at that too, right? Yep. And, you know, there was a lot of bonehead plays that the Miami Dolphins did last year, a lot of penalties that really hurt them. Um, you know, they had some idiotic coaching that took place as well. I actually felt that that was a game that Mike Vrabel coached very well. I thought Will Levis played very well. This was one of his best games as he had as a pro. Um, I think, man, giving this on a Monday night football game, a lot of times the Titans don't come to play when it's a, a nighttime game or a primetime game. That's just been historic. Now, we have a different coaching, different team in those things. Don't get me wrong. But, Jacques, I think we might have some struggles in this game, dude. Um, it's an away game. It's in beautiful Miami. I'm actually giving this a loss, man. I really think that we're going to have struggles in trying to outscore the Miami Dolphins. I'm not just saying press with their defense. Um, but, you know, they have some new weapons. They even got Odell Beckham out there. Um, they got more speed that they have as well, even getting the running back from UT. They have more speed. So I'm actually going with a loss on Monday night against the Miami Dolphins. What you got, Jacques? 
All right, and yeah, I, I just want to put this disclaimer out there. This is a whole new coaching staff. This is a whole new team. So we know telling what we're going to see, right? So I'm just going off from that perspective. I'm not going to go off what I seen last year because I can't. Um, I, mean, I can't because it's just, uh, just totally two different. But I, I agree with you. I think from – we don't know what the culture is going to be just yet. And I feel like a bunch of rust. So I do have us taking an L on this. And the Dolphins, we, we embarrassed them. We did. We embarrassed them. Last year, you were at the game. You know, I think the mindset is going to be different. I think Mike McDaniel is going to be like, you know what? Look what they did to us last year. Let's not let that happen again. So I have an L on this one as well. Okay, okay. Wow, okay. All right. Okay. So looking at, um, you know, looking at as far as where uh, we are in the chat, I'm looking at this as well, too. Uh, we got two and two. L with the Dolphins. L with the Dolphins. Okay. So it looks like you know that in the um in the chat as well looks like you know those uh it, and we got a poll out there too if you all feel uh, the Titans a playoff team you know we got that out there in the poll so right now we're locking step with everybody right now we're two and two Jock mm -hmm. oh do you, I don't know if you all feel the exact same way listening to that but that's where we are in the first quarter of the, the of the year all right so the the next week we're on a bye so we have a very early bye week week five then right. we have a long stretch of games so the next game that we have Jock. Is a home game mm -hmm. against the Indianapolis Colts. Mm. All right, Zach, tell me what you think, bro, about the Colts, man. Man, um, it's a divisional rival. We know we usually want to get on top early with our division. Um, and AR should be back and healthy, which we, we've seen them doing their thing. They got some good additions in the Donnie Mitchell. Um, with this particular game, man, with us being at home, we tend to play the Colts very, very close at home. So I'm actually going to say, go out on a limb, we're going to get the first one. I think we're going to get the first okay. one. Um, I just think with the energy, usually I'm a season ticket holder. Those games tend to be high energy games, packed out. The energy is different. It's, it's our first division game. I got us a W on that. What about you? Facts, no paper shop. Looking at the Indianapolis Colts, we got several people saying a win as well. We got a poll. We got two poll questions out there as well, too, because Vegas has us at five and a half wins for this season. Do you all feel that's where we are? Let us know. Indian home, Jock. Yes, they have Anthony Richardson back. I think the Colts do have better talent based on the draft. I still think they're not a good football team. And I say that based on their defense. They have an unproven quarterback. Still a rookie. Still a rookie quarterback out there. Yep. Um, you know, we don't know what we're going to get out of Jonathan Taylor. I mean, we got Tavondre sweating them guys. I'm not worried about the run game, bro. No, not running on us. Not running on us. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. All right. So – I think this could actually be a big win for us. I think we're going to smack them at home. Um, I'm going win here for the for the Titans. Uh, you know, beating a divisional foe in the Colts. Let's beat them, man. Let's go for it. So yeah, I'm going victory for the Titans. All right, it looks like in the chat, most people are saying win as well too, Jock. So, so y'all, right now we're three and two. Do y'all agree with that? Y'all agree with three and two right now? Okay, that's what it. That's where we at. All right, so Jock. The next game is your boys, bro. Nah. The away game. <laughs> Where yeah, hey, shout out to Rico. If man. you all don't follow him on Bleach Report, man, hey, check out Rico B, uh, Buffalo Fanatics, man. He, hey, an amazing show, man. All right, Buffalo Bills. All right, an away game. So, Jacques, for me, bro, mm. they got Josh Allen, and that's it. They got the rookie Keon Coleman. Mm. Things have changed, dude. Yep. And – I'm not saying Buffalo is going to fall off the map, but I don't think they're going to be as good as they were last year. Um, in the past, what hurt us against Buffalo, man, is, you know, their passing game was killing us with Stephon Diggs and those guys and those things. Um, but, you know, I'm going to tell you this, man. It is, it is, it's an away game. It's in Buffalo. I don't know if it'll be cold in October. I'm not sure. Um, but look at, looking at this, I just think we're a better team right now. I think correct right now, collectively, we are better than the Buffalo Bills. They're going to expect us to run the ball. It's like, no, nah, we're not doing that anymore. We're not going to just be a smash mouth team. We're going to pass the ball. You guys have Micah, uh, Micah High, High is out and Poyer. Poyer and, and, and High are no longer with the Bills. So I'm looking at this as a win, actually, for the Tennessee Titans. Uh, talk to me, man. What you think? Man, I, I don't know if y'all know this, but I cannot stand the Bills. I just I just can't stand them. Like, Hawk can't stand the Ravens. I can't stand the Bills. So, again, the, the Bills have changed dramatically. Like, I think they've one of the teams that has a had a bigger 
facelift in the offseason than any other team. I mean, there's other teams out there. But when I look at this Bills roster, they lost a lot. And I'm with you, bro. Just looking at our current roster and how we set up on defense from the secondary to the linebackers to the TV and, and, and Jeff, offensively, we just got to do what we need to do. I honestly think we're going to win this game. I do. Every time we play the Bills besides last year, which they spanked us up, we've always kept it close. And like you said, it's not the smash mouth. So you don't actually – actually, you don't know what you're getting from a Titans offense now. You don't know. You should That's know. Right. By this point in time, you should. But I still think it's still going to be unknown because it's a new scheme, a new system, new players. Just Everything is just new. So I think we're going to go to Buffalo and win. Something we okay. really haven't done in a while, man. So, yeah, I, I got this as a W, man. Okay. Okay. All right. A win for Jacques with the Buffalo Bills, his, his, his second favorite team, jokingly. <laughs> All right, so those those in the comments actually has this as an L for us. So respect that for sure, for sure. Okay, Jacques, you and I right now, this normally doesn't happen. You and I are lock and step on our record, man. We are four and two, and they have us as three and three. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. The next game is an away game, and it is against... The Detroit Lions. That's the next. That's the next game. As I locate the picture there for the, the Detroit Lions. So Jacques, tell me what you think about the Detroit game. And this is an away game at that as well too. Tough uh, NFC North game. Detroit is talented. They're very tough. They've added some good talent on offense and defense, even in the draft. Um, they've coached very well, um, and it's it's been starting to become a difficult place to play in, in Detroit because of the success that they've had. Coming off a good playoff. Uh, well, good season last year and a good playoff win last year. I actually have us taking an L on this particular uh, game. It's not going to be a blowout, but I have us taking an L because of the situation. Again, it's a lot of unknowns, and it's it's our second away game, and we're going back to back too. Yeah, I got an L on this one, man. What about you? Okay, good points, man. And I'm looking at somebody made a really good comment that says that we got we should get a win because they got we got their DC. That's a good comment. That's a really good comment. That is true. Yeah. So for me, man. Detroit is seasoned. They just paid Jared Goff big money. Detroit's in, they're they're training up to be a Super Bowl contender, man. They are they are moving forward. Uh, Detroit has talent on offense and defense. Uh, they added the, the rookie Terry Arnold at corner. That's where they needed help is in in their defensive backfield. Uh, you got Aiden Hutchinson. I mean, the Detroit Lions have talent. Uh, it's week eight, October twenty seventh, an away game up in Detroit. Looking at this, I don't think we're going to score enough. I think Detroit they score points. They can run the ball. They can pass the ball. Expect Jameer Gibbs to have, probably have a big game. And those guys, those guys are really good in Detroit and Motor City. I'm going with a loss here as well, too, man. I think this is going to be a loss for, for the Tennessee Titans against the Detroit Lions as of today. Now, things could change, but that's where, that's where I'm at right now today for sure. So, And I was looking at the, I was looking at the chat, too, Jacques. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, it is. It is. I see, I I see two. I see loss. I see more of a loss for yeah, Detroit. Yeah. You all are being real, ain't they, Jacques? Yeah, I mean, the Titans fans are, are logical fans, man. They, they, we know, we know, we know our team. Let me say that. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Okay, so the next game, Jacques, mm -hmm. is a home game. Finally, at home, we had two road games. We've had three road games in the last four games. This game is against the New England Patriots. All right, this is a home game against the Pats. Tom Brady's not coming to town. We got the rookie Drake May. That's going to be the quarterback. So, Jacques, for me, man, with the Patriots, bro, I think New England is one of the worst teams in the NFL, man. I think they hmm. have they don't have a lot of talent on offense. Uh, they're still going to try to figure things out. Their defense is not too bad. You got a few ballers on defense, but right now, I mean, again, we don't know what week twelve, what week nine will look like. But I still think that New England is still trying to create an identity. And looking at this, man, I, the fact that it's a home game as well. On November 3rd, I think we're just more talented. I think overall we just have more depth on offense. I think we could throw a lot at them. They don't have a lot of good corners out there. They got one good safety uh, that's out there. But outside of that, man, this team this this team is building. So I'm going with a win for the Tennessee Titans against the New England Patriots, man. So what about you, Jop? And like you said, they got a rookie quarterback in Drake May. Um, they've lost a, a couple of pieces as well they're, they're in rebuild mode and they're trying to slow walk this thing and i just see man how our team is built and how we built fast this this is a w man in my opinion it, it'll be a nice little confident confidence booster especially coming off the uh 
the Detroit game where we just lost, you need a confidence booster. So I have us taking a W with this as well. Gotcha, man. Facts, no paper, Jacques. Facts, no paper, bro. Okay, Jacques. All right, so we're we're in the middle of the season right now. Looking at the chat, pretty much everyone has us taking a win here against the against the Patriots, man. So shout out to those in the comment section. Again. We are tallying those up. What's up, T. Kelly? What's up, Tremaine? What's happening with you, bro? What's good with you, man? So looking at where we are right now, Jacques, you and I have the exact same record, dog. We are one, two, three, four, five. We're five and three right now, bro. Okay, that's and those in the comment, yeah, those in the comment section lot. has us as four and four, four and okay. four. Okay, now we're about to start getting into the meat of our schedule, man. All right, we got our schedule. We're only ranked number twenty three in the league and getting strength of schedule. It's so, schedule, yep. so it, it doesn't necessarily mean we just have a tough schedule, but we do have a, a we have a stretch of some weird games coming up, man. So we we'll see we'll see what's up. And many of these are road games. All right. So the next game, Jacques, we have on week 10. We're going to the West Coast. Going to jam some Kendrick Lamar while we're down there, bro. And we are, <laughs> we're going to play that they not like us, right? Man, come the on. LA Chargers, November 10th. Talk to us, Jacques. What you think about this game? It's an away man, game. the Chargers are another team that lost a lot of pieces, man. Again, their skill position players are – not up to par. They still got Justin Herbert. I know they got Joe Alt at, at left at, at LLT. Uh, defensively, they're they're okay. Only thing they can get the Titans is the jet lag, right? And I, I have confidence in this, in this coaching staff, coaching staff to make sure that that they can get over that hump. But with this particular game, man, I'm gonna say this. I'm taking a, a W on this one, man. I know it's kind of weird to say, but I'm taking a W. If if they still would have had the same skill position players as, as last year. Then it, to me, this would have been a loss. But I think the Chargers have lost too much, and they're another team that's kind of building as well. They got the quarterback. They just need to add more pieces to it. So, for me, W. What about you, Hawk? Okay, Jacques. Hey, man, great points, bro. All right, so when I look at this Chargers game, I think the advantage that Chargers might have is that it is a way. So, we're having to go down to L.A., and I don't know. You know, we'll see how the Titans play for the season to see how tough they are on the road. You know, I still think Justin Herbert can still throw dimes out there. I do think as well they've worked on getting their offensive line a bit better. Yes, they don't have as many weapons. I mean, they did lose Keenan Allen. They lost, they've lost. they lost a lot of players, actually. Um, you know, they even lost some on defense. They do still got some of their key players on defense. Like, Bosa's still out there. Derwin James is still out there. But I, for some reason, man, looking at this as a, as a road game on the West Coast, I still think the Titans are still a young football team. Not so much a young football team in age, but young as far as tenure as a team. And to learn how to win far away on the road, you got to build that. And I think right now, coming off an easy win against the Patriots, I'm actually taking a loss here for the against the Chargers, man. I think this might be a loss for us. This might be a shocking loss for us. You're going to have that in the season. I got this as one of our shocking losses, man. So I, I got a loss here against the L.A. Chargers. So let's see what they got in the chat, Jock. Let's see here. Um, It's a 325 game. Okay. Sween is, hey, Sween is out there. Hey, Facts, no paper out there. We got Titans will win, Titans will win, Titans will lose. We got a little mix of little, little mix, mix bag. Yeah. I'm gonna go down with a win. I see more wins against the Chargers than losses. Yeah. What do you think, bro? You see that? I, I, it's the same. It just, I mean, just looking at the turnover on their roster. And again, people, I, I I don't know if we're thinking that this is still the same Titans team that we had last year. I think that's kind of skewing the judgment of everything as well. Remember, we got LaDarius Sneed. <laughs> we got a Wuze. We went out and got uh, – we still got um, – secondary is upgraded. But besides safety, I still think we need a good safety. But the defense and secondary is upgraded. So, again, I don't see – these losses that we have, I don't see us getting smacked up like we did last year because there were some yeah. games smacked up here pretty bad. That's right. Again, That's it's, right. So, it's unknowns. It's, it's unknown. But this is raw emotion, though. This is real raw emotion. And like Hawk said, if you're just coming into the show, this is subject to change. We can change our minds when it comes right. training camp or the first preseason game. I, I usually judge things off of that. So, All right. Yeah, absolutely, Jacques. Facts. Facts. No paper, bro. Okay. So the, the next game that we have, Jacques, it's a home game, bro. Finally playing at home again. Uh, we are actually playing in the uh, another um, an NFC North team. That is the Minnesota Vikings, Jacques. The Minnesota Vikings. Talk to us, Jacques. What you think, bro? Man, I'm looking at their roster now. So the quarterback is Sam Darnold, JJ McCarthy, uh, McCarthy. Uh, Aaron Jones is the running back. Justin, uh, to me, it comes down to the quarterback. 
Who's who's at quarterback? We know Sam Sam uh Sam Darnold can't stay healthy to save his life. I don't he's still in the league, which is insane, which is crazy. Yeah. Will it be the rookie plan? Will it be Sam playing? Right. That's my judgment on it. We're at home. Um, I'm actually going to say this is going to be a sneaky loss for me. Okay. Because of okay. these types of games tend to sneak up on us. And again, <laughs> it depends on who's at quarterback. Yes, but it's sir. not a big loss. It, to me, it's like a field goal loss. Literally, it's just one of those games if we get caught slipping, you're not there mentally. We're in the meat of the, the, the particular schedule. We know how the Titans are. <laughs> they get in that, that middle tier and they get the lollygagging a little bit. And I hope the, the culture's changed, but for me, I got it as an L, man. What about you? Okay, gotcha, Jock. So for me, man, looking at this, man, you know, you bring up a great point as far as, you know, I wouldn't anticipate J.J. McCarthy being a quarterback at about this time. Um, does that scare me? Absolutely not. J.J. McCarthy reminds me a little bit of Ryan Tannehill. My oldest son said that when I was watching him in Michigan. I said, like, man, I, I do see that. Um, that's a compliment, actually. But I think, man, looking at Minnesota, they have a lot. They don't really have a solid running game. They lost to them on defense. It's, you know, Danielle Hunter, those guys. Minnesota's trying to find themselves. And when you have a rookie quarterback that's unproven, and I still question that. I don't, I'm not, I'm not really a big JJ McCarthy fan, to be honest with you. I agree. Me neither. It's a home game. Our Titan fans should be hollering, skull, skull, right? Against them, skull up, whatever. I'm actually taking this as a win, bro. I'm taking this as a win. I think we could we could pull the win here against the Vikings. Uh, again, it's a home game, and uh, I, to your point, it could be a sneaky loss. These are one of them games that we do lose. I agree, but I think we, should, we might baby. be able to pull this game off. We, we, we should. We should. Yeah. That's why I'm saying I hope the culture has – we can get that nasty taste out of our mouth. That's something that needs to go. Like, it really needs to go. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they got Aaron Jones. You're right, OD419. Man. So, it looks like we got folks that saying more win than loss on this one. Okay, so let's take a quick break here look at where we're at. I think – our records are all the same, Jock. I'm going to see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have, I'm six and one, two, three. I'm six and four. You are one, two, three, four, five. You're six and four. One, yeah. two, three, four, five. And everyone else that's watching us is at six and four. They have us as a, on a three game winning streak, by the way. So we're wow. six and four. Do y'all feel we're six and four? Vegas already has us as five and a half wins and having us as one of the worst teams in the league. We're at six see. wins, and we still have – we got seven games to go. Are we being realistic, y'all? That's that's the scary part about it. We do this every year. We do this I We know. do this every year. Yep. It's, it, again, we don't know. That's the thing. We don't know. We're basing it off yep. what we see now. Things are subject to change. We could add yep. additions at safety. I keep saying it. So if Rand Carthon and y'all watching the show, please add another safety. We need another safety just to complete the, the trifecta. But anyway. Right. Yeah, they, they, I, 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 I'm with you, Sweeney man. They smoking aloud. They 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 got to smoke. They smoking a loud pack. They really do. Yeah, they. But they, I'm, they, I'm, yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna tell you this, y'all. I hate saying this. Vegas is more right than wrong, dude. That's, that's what's that's, scary, that's, man. That's scary. It's scary. That's scary. That is scary. scary. That's what really I. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's it's weird, man. It's it's yeah. it's re very weird how they are spot on that's most right. of the time. I, I hope it ain't. Yeah, five wins. Sure. I mean, uh, yeah. we gonna see. Mm. All right. Well, the next game we have, man, is an it's an away game, man, against the Houston Texans, man. You know, I, I'm starting not to really like these guys at all. I never really did, but it's gotten worse. So I'm gonna say this, man. This is a Thanksgiving game, November 24th. Uh, it's around that time frame. Um, Houston, we got a problem, and the problem is not really them. It's us against them, and Houston is very talented. They have a lot of weapons. Houston of late has just found ways to beat us, regardless of who's on the roster. Mm -hmm. I don't see this being a win for us, even away. I just think right now, if they have their roster healthy, they got weapons all over the field. Their receivers have picked up. They got good corners. They, of course, they got C.J. Stroud. They got Joe Mixon, who's always given us problems in the running game. I had this as a loss for us, man, against the Houston Texans in the H-Town. I got it as a loss. What about you, Jacques? Um... Again, they have turned the, the tide very fast, and they went to the playoffs last year, and they won a playoff game. They got, they've got they added pieces. Um, it, 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 people can debate on those pieces, but they've added pretty, a pretty solid base. And I think that the hype that they got, the momentum that they have, this is a loss for us, man. And unfortunately, it, it, and, the, and the reason why I say it's a loss, I'm going to add to what you're saying, 
the Titans are still trying to figure out their system. They're still trying to gel together. They're still trying to get it. But once they get it, are we back? Just know, Texans, yeah, you you got the upper hand right now, but we back. Now, these, these are the games that get coaches fired because Amy Adams Trunk does not play about Houston. So, Facts. yeah, I think this is a loss, man. It's a loss on my end, bro. Facts. Facts. Okay. All right. It looks like those in the chat have us as a loss as well, too. So, we're, we're lying, y'all. We're lying. Okay. So, the next game that we have, Jop, it's an away game, man. It's, uh, you know, it's going into the NFC, the NFC East on this game here. And it is the Washington Commanders, Jop. All right. So, what do you think about the Washington game, bro? Uh, with the Washington Commanders, they're another team that has a lot of unknowns. Um, still got a nice defense, but at quarterback, we don't know. I know Daniels is out there, but will he be starting? I actually think that we have an advantage in this game where I think by this time we're going to start gelling. I have us. We beat them last year. I think it was last year. Yeah, it was last year. We yeah. beat them last year in Washington, and I think we can do it again in Washington. It'll be a close game. But I think we have enough of umph and power on offense to get them. So this is a W for me. What about you? Hey, Jop, you speaking fire, bro. So I think, man, when I look at the schedule, bro, Washington has gotten better. You know, they got they got a better roster, better quarterback. At least that's what we think. He's still a rookie at the end of the day. Yep. And he still has ways to sort of prove himself. And even during this time frame. So I don't think that outside of that, they have a lot of talent. Um, I think that, you know, I think right now, you know, we should we have more talent than they do. And looking at it more on offense, you know, Washington has had struggles on their run defense, not so much their pass defense. For some reason, they have guys that, that play pretty well in, the, in that. But I think this could be a game where we can run the ball pretty well. And even on defense, we should be able to stop their run because Washington still has they're still trying to figure things out. So I actually has this as a win or two. Man. So I'm saying a victory here for the Titans in this regard for against Washington. So what is, let's look at the chat, what they have as far as the Washington game. I, I thought I saw a few losses on this. I did. did. I, see I, I, I see a few losses. Yeah. 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 I see TK with a loss. T. Kelly with a loss. Uh, Jay Bowling oh. with a loss. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yep. oh, okay. All right. So I got that down as a loss for those in the chat. All right. The next <laughs> game that we have is a home game. I hope you all are having fun watching the show, by the way, man. So the next game we have is the Jacksonville Jaguars at home okay jacksonville the weird jacksonville jags all right trevor lawrence is in year four right you would think by now he figured things out jacksonville has a lot of their players returning they went from a playoff team to not making the playoffs courtesy of the titans we ended their season last year so you know they're going to be amped to play us because we ended their season jacksonville has always had that problem against us looking at this as a home game I, for some reason, think we might we still might get the best of the Jags here. Um, you know, looking at, you know, looking at where we are um, at times, man, we beat them at home. They beat us away. It's kind of weird how that is, man. And normally that's what happens in any of these divisional games. I'm going to take that shot with the Jags here. I'm actually going to go with a loss against the Jags. And I say that to say that they're going to come here with a lot of steam. They're pissed off. Um, you know, their, they, their team is pretty much more set than what we are. They've had the same team for three years. And I think Jacksonville might ascend a bit this year. I'm not gonna say there's some great team, but I actually have this as a loss, a home loss against the Jags. What about you, Jock? So I, I have the opposite. <clears throat> I look at the Jags. I don't believe in the Jags. And I told you this last year. I thought they were frauds going back into this thing. Again, yeah, right. they hype the Jags up like they think they're the best team. They're gonna win the AFC South. I'm glad we ruined their their freaking uh, uh playoff chances last year. That was my highlight of the year. Even though we wasn't good, we beat the Jags. That's all the thing I care about. I still, again, Trevor Lawrence, man, to me, he still has a lot to prove. Yeah, he's been in the league for four years, but people have put him on this pedestal as well. Like, hey, it's Trevor Lawrence. No, they lost Ridley. Yeah, they picked up uh your boy that we had you had drafting from LSU, but I still think that they are just in, an inconsistent organization and an inconsistent team, in my opinion. And I have us actually taking a W on this, and it's at home, I believe. Yeah, it's at home. So we tend it's to beat home. them. We tend to beat them at home. We tend to to, to stay. It is, I know it goes back and forth, but we got them last year at home. I think we're gonna get them again again this year at home. And again, people, this is raw emotion. So we this is this is subject to change. Yep. When training camp comes around, when everything comes around. And as D.D. Davis says, we have a whole different team. No one knows what we can do yet. That's the beautiful part about it. Nobody right. has a clue. They don't know what's coming. That's they have right. no idea. It's like a, it's like you're getting faded 
you about to you about to take the fade and you don't even know where the fade coming from. That's how the Titans are right now. That's right, Jacques. That's right, brother. That's right. Okay. And looks like those in the chat, facts, no paper, Jacques. It looks like the, those in the chat clearly has this as a win for the Titans for sure. Okay. All right. So we got four more games left. Jacques, I'm going to let you know how many wins I have. I got us at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have us down as eight and one, two, three, four, five. I have us as eight and five, bro. You got no, that's five. you. No, that's okay. you. You're eight and five. My bad. What are you saying? I have us down as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. I have us down as seven and six. Okay. Those in the chat have us as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and six. So, okay. so I and and the chat crowd has us at the, as the same. The, the weekly family is the same, and you have us at eight and five. Okay, cool. All right. So, Jacques, mm. we are at the last quarter of the season, bro. So, the next is against our nemesis, one of our nemesis, man. A team I, I don't really like too much, dude. I can't stand them, bro. <laughs> I can't either, man. So, shout out to Ace, man, and, and New Stripe City there on Ace YouTube, Boogie. man. What up? What's good with you? All right, Cincinnati Bengals, December 15th at home. All right, Jacques. So, Cincinnati. Ah, I hate them. Mm. It's a home game. Yes. Cincinnati did not make the playoffs last year. Joe Burrow was hurt. You know, they had, they had Browning out there. He did a pretty good job as a backup. Now, I'm saying this if Joe Burrow's healthy. I'm saying that Jamar Chase is healthy. Their offensive line has improved dramatically. They have the biggest offensive line in the league right now. They got three guys, six foot eight, from tackle to tackle in their guards. They got all these. It, just because they're big doesn't mean it's going to be a you know, great line. But let me tell you something. I'm still hurt from the playoff game. Jockey was there at the game. Still hurt from that. Still emotionally scarred from that. I still think, man, this might be a loss for us, dude. I think, man, right now, Cincinnati's at this time might ascend. You still got a Super Bowl attending quarterback in Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase at receiver. They did lose Tyler Boyd to us, yes. But I do think they've got better up front. Um, they still kept most of their core players on defense. They did lose a Wouzier, but they had other guys playing in front of him at this point. So I'm taking this as a loss for us against Cincinnati, y'all. What about you, bro? Uh, again, I was at that playoff game. That was the most def <laughs> defeating feeling I've had. I was depressed for like two months after that. Like seriously, they they I can't stand the Bengals. Like I, I have a newfound hatred for them and the Bills. I can't stand them. But I agree with you. I think this is a loss as well. But I can't base it on the new team. T. Kelly said it the best. And I think somebody – and Sweeney Man said it the best. Cali knows everything about the Bengals, systematic. Facts. Facts. So I'm taking this as an L right now. But the way the, the – the, how smart the coaching staff is and how intelligent and how they're using analytics to, to, to analyze certain things, it would not surprise me one bit if I come back in August and say, you know what, I'm changing my mind. The way this team is flowing, I think we'll beat them. But I'm just going off the, off of the past, quote-unquote, because we don't know what we got. I'm taking it as an L. This is an L okay. for me. It's a close okay. L, but it's an L for me. And again, I can't stand them because that taste in my mouth is still not gone. That was our chance to go to the Super Bowl, and they ruined it for us. But anyway. Absolutely. 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 So those in the comment section has this as a win, actually, and they bring up the Brian Callahan situation. T. Higgins might be traded. Those are valid points, man. They really are. I, we, we get that. But I think just their roster is just more set, at least at this point. We'll see. But again, this is fresh off the press. Tomorrow we might change our mind. All right, Jacques, the next game is an away game, and it is against our rival, the Indianapolis Colts, Jacques. So talk to me, brother. What you think about the Colts, man? So with the Colts, it's away. I hate to do this. Actually having us taking an L here. It's a close L, but I have us taking an L because we tend – this is the division. We didn't win a division game last year at all. Yeah, we did. We won one. It was Jacksonville. And I think just to get an accomplishment of trying to get two or three is an accomplishment. But I have a splitting with the Colts this year. Usually I don't do this. I have a sweep in them every year. But I just think that the Colts are kind of figure it out. Um, and they'll have some bumps in the roads. But I think just mentally, and again, this is raw motion. I don't know what the Titans are going to do. We have no idea. I'm taking an L on this one. This is a loss for me. Okay. Okay, Jacques. Man, I'm going to tell you something, bro. I feel the same, man, about this as far as splitting with the Colts. Um, by then, Anthony Richardson should be, if, if he's healthy, you know, you got Gardner Minshew. Um, 
you know, he's he should be healthy. He should by that time have had, you know, weathered the storm and those things. It's always playing it's always playing the Colts play very hard at home. And it's very hard for us to beat them at times. Um, the Colts, they come to play there. Um, you know, historically, even, you know, in the past as well, you know, the Colts have have beat many opponents that they shouldn't have. Even last year, they won some tough road games. They didn't make the playoffs, but they beat a lot of good teams last year in Indy. Um, Indy is well coached. I still feel that they got a good defense. Um, I think the Colts will get a win here, man. That's their they will to get the loss. They'll get the win in Indy for sure for me, man. So in the chat, let's see what we got for the Colts. We got a loss. We got a loss. So we hey, those in the comment section has us as a loss. OK. All right, Jacques, the next one, the next game. We got two more games left, bro. All right, the next one. Thanks for everybody rock, rocking with us as well, too, man. All right, so the next game that we have, game 16, is the Jacksonville Jaguars, and that is away. All right, so, Jacques, I'm going to take this one. I think, man, towards this, man, this is going to be close to playoff time, given that we have three AFC South games to end the season, and that's rare because that, not, that doesn't necessarily happen Normally one or two, you know, in between we play like the Chargers or somebody or the Rams or something. We have three AFC South games. I currently have us at three losses in a row with Jacksonville, Cincinnati, and Indianapolis. I think the Titans are going to turn the tide here. I think they're going to get pissed off. And, you know, Jacksonville normally fades at the end of the season. That's just what they do, man. That's it. That's historic. They got the same team that they did last year. They did that last year as well. I think the Titans are going to figure it out, man. I think we're going to smash them. I think we're going to hit them in their mouth. I actually see this as a big victory for us, man, on the road against the Jags. So I'm going with a win here for for the Titans, bro. What about you, Jop? Oh, uh, man, again, I'm not copying you, but I, I agree. I just, again, it's the same Jags, man. It is the same team, the same organization. Like you said, they tend to just trend down when it, it's the latter part of the season. And I just think that the way the Titans are going, like you said, they just got off a loss. I think they're going to come in this thing humping. I got it as a W. Okay. Got it as a W. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm looking at, let's see, we got one that has a loss, win, loss. So right now we got two losses. Okay. So I'm about to put it down as a loss for right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Against the Jags. Okay. So we have one more game left, Jacques. You know, this could be playoff indicating and all those things. So right now, before I say this final game, Jock, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you are nine and what am I saying? Nine and let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're nine and seven. seven okay. Nine and seven. I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm, let's see here. I'm eight and eight. I'm eight and eight. Those in the comment sections at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same record as I am. We're not far at all, bro. Yeah. We're not far. Okay. Final game, Jock. And it's at home. Mm -hmm. The Houston Texans. <laughs> so, is it away or is it at? Yes, yeah, home. It's home. It's home. What do you think, Jock? So, Again, the, the Texans, they are, are proven. CJ Stroud is proven. I, I really I really underestimated that brother, so shout out to him. I think by this time the Texans probably have a playoff spot. I think Ooh. they're players, and I think it'll be a win for the Titans just off that alone. I just think that they have it together enough. They, they got that momentum. I could I hope I'm wrong because I hope they have a I hope he has a sophomore slump, but I don't know. Um, but I see them resting their players and I see the Titans getting a win. I do because it's playoff time, right? Yeah. Um, depends on what position they are because you don't want to get CJ Stroud hurt. This is a win for me. What about you, Hope? Jacques, those are very valid points. I didn't even think about, about it like that. We normally talk about that, right? Towards the end of the season. That, that, that's a great point. So I'm going to say this because I think the Texans are going to need as many wins as they can because you got the Kansas City Chiefs. You got the Bengals. You got teams that are going to try to buy for playoff. The Miami Dolphins, possibly. I'm just thinking of teams just, you know, that, that you know, the Ravens and those things. I think because of that, that's going to give them some extra oomph to try to beat the Titans. And because of that, you know, at the end of the season, I still think that they are a better football team than us. Mm -hmm. And because they're going to be trying to fight for a playoff victory or to get playoff home field advantage, at least in the first round, 
they're gonna they're gonna play all their cards against us, man. And I think that's gonna work to their favor and not us. It's gonna be unfavorable for us. So I'm taking this as a loss against the Texans. Uh, and it, it is, you know, it it is home against, you know, we're home. But I do think I think the Texans are gonna say, look, man, we want to sweep the Titans, man. It's personal. We want that. We still want that blue. We're gonna try to beat y'all as much as we can, man. So I'm taking a loss here, Jock. So, okay. all right, cool, man. All right, so let's look at the chat, man. Let's see here. T. Kelly said, you said everything I was trying to. Okay, gotcha. Titans will beat the Texans. Texans have nothing to play for. Mac Jones. Okay, so it looks like in the chat, they have this as a win. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm tallying these up now, Jock. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, I'm going to tell you this, bro. We all have different records, bro. And I'm, I'm about to share that. I'm about to share that with y'all right now, man. So, John, how, first of all, before I post this, bro, what, how how you feeling, dog, about the tight just in general, dude? Again, I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> we're going to do. And, and, and I'm just saying this because it's a whole new culture. It's a whole new coaching staff. It's a whole – everything is new. So, I don't know. I mean, we can be the surprise team like the Texans were last year, right? That's right. With, with the additions. We're just going off – I think our thought process – I've heard keywords from what everybody's typing, what you said, what I've said. We're, we're, we're speaking in absolutes where we're talking about basically the past, right? We yeah. anticipate the Titans to do this. We anticipate the Titans to do that. We anticipate the Titans to do this. We don't know what the hell they're going to do. We really don't. Thanks. We don't. We, we don't know. Like, And I think that's the scary part about this team is, yeah, you got um, um, certain media outlets, or media pundits are saying, hey, the Titans are going to be this trash or the, the Titans are this and Titans. If you're not paying attention to the team and our acquisitions and the way we draft it, oh no, it can be built up fast. I, I, I'm always going to use the Texans for an example as an example. They say now, back in the day, it takes like at least almost two to three years to, to rebuild. The Texans did it in a year, right? I lied. You got CJ Stroud. He's the biggest component of it. But I think our biggest question mark, and I'm not going to say a question, let me, let, me, let me rephrase it because I don't want to upset everybody. But the biggest important person in this whole thing is Will Levis. Facts. How Facts. can Will, can Will Levis take that sophomore leap and take that CJ Stroud trend, or will he take the tour trend? Right. Yep. That's the biggest key. He's the biggest key player in this whole thing. Is Will Levis? When I look yep. at this, I'm like, okay, cool. We got this. We got that. We got this. We got that. Hey, Will, my brother. I'm rooting for you. I'm riding with you. But what can you do? We got to get to the, we got to get to the stars, and that's, that's right. my biggest. That's the biggest. I'm intrigued to see what he can do. We've built around him. This point, we can use the excuse of where's well, the new offense. Yeah, that's cool. But hey, man, we're gonna need you to take that leap. So that's for me. I don't yeah. know. This okay. is raw emotion, and yeah. when it comes down to it, it might change. It it might change. Yeah, that's when right. it comes like when I hear training camp and I start hearing buzz and we go to it and we see we're like, OK, this is this is my, my, my thought process changed. But if I don't see really too much, then it can change even more dramatic, dramatically. That's right. So that's right. what about you, man? How you feeling? So, Jacques, I'm going to tell you this, man. It's on two. It's on two factors before I post our, our, our records. It's on the offensive line because we have one of the worst offensive line groups in the NFL last season. Can these young guys gel together as a unit? If we do that, that changes our whole team. And it puts the onus on Will Levis. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's on Will Levis. Mm -hmm. And we got to know, is this Will Levis for the future? Or is this a Zach Wilson, can he pick it type of a situation, right? right? And we have built. Rand has done an unbelievable job in cooking. Cook, Rand, cook. He's doing an unbelievable job of getting players here. We just picked up the number one slot receiver in the league. We just yep. did that, okay? Mm -hmm. So... We have definitely changing the culture here. We're not this big running, bruising team. We got speed. We got we got receivers, and we got we have we have op options and opportunities to really get points on the board. If even if Will Levis doesn't have the greatest season ever, do we see progress? Do right. we know he's our guy? Right. Mm -hmm. We're building on that. I think our defense is continuing to come together. Um, I, for some reason, I, of course, I have concerns. I don't think we're a top ten defense, but we're building. But I really do think Will Levis is really a big part of what we're trying to do and knowing, okay, is he going to be our guy or not? If Will Levis can show that progress, we're going to shock folks. We are mm -hmm. going to shock folks, man. That's why I got us winning those games, strictly yeah. off of him. Yeah. If we don't, yeah. we yeah. might need to – it's tough conversations, but – Yep. The conversations, 
if we, if we don't feel that he is the guy at some point when the season's over, conversations need to be had because this is yes. this league goes by fast. Thanks, and yes. the quarterback position is extremely important. And again, I'm not saying he's supposed to go out there and be Josh Allen this next year, but we have to see progress. We have to say, okay, this guy here, he can do something based on weapons that he has. And you're not going to hear a lot of people making excuses as much as, well, he ain't got nobody, whatever. Again, I think, I think the offensive line can step up first. If they're not blocking for him, Will Levis has that as an argument. They're blocking and it's on him. So, right, right. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and post the records out right now. So we want to say thank you all for, you know, for, you know, tuning in and putting your votes out there. So, Jacques, for mm -hmm. the 2024 season, you and I both in the Bleacher Report chat, we have our records. Now, this is early. As the season preseason goes along and all that, it might change. But as of today, this is where we are, bro. All right. So me, I have the Titans down at eight and nine. Jacques has the Titans at 10 and seven. The Bleacher Report chat, those that are out there in the comment section, has us down at nine and eight. So we do have a poll out there. Who do you think has the most realistic uh, record? We're not all far. I mean, just, you know, we're not far off. But do y'all think it's me? Do you think it's Jaco? Do you think it's the Bleacher Report chat? Who do y'all feel is, is more realistic in this regard? Because Vegas has us as a five-and-a-half winning football team. That's a big difference on what we have here. So throw that in the chat. And after that, man, hey, we got to close out, man. Right. I, what do y'all think? I, I, I'm going to give my vote. Yours, uh I say the chat, man. They 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 got a nice little record, man. It, it's yeah. if, if 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 all three of these records happen, that's a big improvement from last year. Yeah, that's right. That's a that's big right. improvement for last year. Big improvement. But again, it, it, mine's a subject. I'm gonna tell you, mine's is probably gonna change when it comes down to the uh, when it when I look at preseason and whatnot. Um, yeah. So, yeah, again, <laughs> T. Kelly funny. He said, with injuries and mental mistakes, hopefully, man, again, that's the old culture, T. That's the old culture, man. When you, when you, when I'm seeing it, I'm like, that's the old mentality. Hopefully that mentality is gone. That's the goal to get that particular mentality. What you, what you just chatted with injuries and mental mistakes, that is the old way of doing things. We need a new way of doing things. We need a, right. a focused, a smart, a football guy. Guys that, that team, to get out there and really play as a unit and come together and get this thing cracking, man. Because again, if we go there, then we're going back, we're yeah. going back to square one. I got you, man. Well, I'll give you my reasons, Jacques, and we'll we'll and we'll you know we'll end the show here. I'll give you my reasons as far as eight and nine. And if you want to give yours why we're ten, why you see ten and seven, I'm yeah. saying eight and nine because I look at the Titans last year, you know, based on our record, you know, we had what seven wins last year. Right? Am I? Is that correct? I'm making sure we have six or seven. We know with seven, 17 games now, things have changed. But yeah, we are a better football team than we were last year, and I do think we have a better roster. Um, I think again, eight and nine, and nowadays could actually put you in the playoffs. I'm not sure if that will or not. I do think there's a lot of teams in the NFL and the AFC in particular. There are not a lot of good football teams in the AFC. I think Buffalo has gone down. Uh, you know, I, I think the Miami Dolphins might go down. But I think more than anything, man, right now, we are a better football team, but I think we still have one more year left to put it all together. Um, will Levis will have his struggles as a, as a second-year player, you know, trying to jail with the receivers and those things. I think we're going to squeak out some wins that we shouldn't have, and we might lose some games that we shouldn't have as well too. Uh, so I just think right now just a year of an adjustment. Um, my, again, my mind might change. I might tell you next week we're 11-6. and six, But for what I just saw, raw emotion right off rip without – Prepping on the schedule, we try to get it done as soon as the schedule is released. I'm saying we have eight wins, at least eight. And that's three three more wins than what Vegas has, man. So, Jacques, talk to us about 10 and 7, bro. Uh, 10 and 7 to me is from the, the cultural uh, aspect. Well, well, let me do three pieces. The culture aspect where it's changed, we have a new head coach, new D coordinator, new pieces that's been added to the roster, new analytics, the way they're doing things when it comes to training. People, if you pay attention to what's, what Rand has done to this team, he has made this team 
a totally different team from the top to the bottom to the inside to the outside. And I'm looking at a team that I just see I'm taking the past away and throwing it that way and looking at, okay, hey, Will Levis, how much can you improve, right? I see, I'm looking at this schedule, and when I look at this schedule, I see teams on the schedule that was also inconsistent when it came to their play as well, right? We've seen some teams that cut it that cut it on at the, at the beginning of the season, and we've seen teams that didn't cut it on or they lost steam. We've seen teams that were in the playoffs. We've seen teams that was like, okay, they're pretty solid in the playoffs. I, I use Green Bay as a, as a factor. When I look at Green Bay, when I look at Jordan Love, I'm like, hey, he did his thing, but can he continue that up, right? If I come to that and we get ready to play them and I see they're two and two or three and two, then I know, okay, hey, we have a shot. This schedule is very favorable when I say we have a shot. When I'm looking at this schedule, these are winnable games. It's not like we're going to get blown out left and right. As you iterated even with Buffalo, when I look at Buffalo, Buffalo to me has lost a lot of talent. Of course, they're still going to be in the top ten because of Josh Allen. We know that, right? But, again, Josh Allen has to throw it. Who? King Cole? Okay, that's cool. But he lost key pieces. He's another one that has to step it up. And if you don't step it up, you have to start having a, a tough conversation. So, for me, I look at this as a favorable schedule to where I see teams that are Besides the Bengals, who to me are a dominant team, they're not really teams on there that's, that can I scream Kansas City or Baltimore or, or just teams like that, right? Big heavy hitters, the Philadelphia Eagles, the San Francisco 49ers. We're not playing heavy hitters. We're playing teams that we can actually can compete with. It's a good little favorable schedule. So that's why I got us at 10 and 7 because I feel like we can sneak one in there and then go from there. So that's for me. Gotcha, Jacques. All great points, bro. Great points, dude. I'm hope I hope you're right and I'm wrong for sure, dude. And your your points are extremely valid, brother. They really are, man. So likewise. Well, folks, listen, we want to say thank you all, man, for tuning in to the show, man. We hope you all have fun, you know, and to keep you all involved as much as possible, too, man. We took in, you know, your opinions and things. Uh, shout out again, Bleacher Report in the building. Um, if you have not followed us yet, man, follow us. There's our names right there on the board at Lorenzo the Hulk underscore the Hulk. We got at Jock Merrill as well. Um, you can check us out on YouTube at Tennessee Titans Weekly. Subscribe to us today. You can also follow us on Twitter, Titans Weekly 24-7, and on Instagram at Tennessee Titans Weekly. And when you do follow those those particular media media outlets and those platforms, please like, share, subscribe, do all that, cut your notification bells on. Again, thank you, Bleach Report, for this opportunity. And ultimately, thank y'all for watching the show because without y'all, we ain't we won't be here. So thank y'all for putting your opinion in there. Thank y'all for participating. And, hey, let's get to the next show, and then let's get to training camp and see what we got in this team, man. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up, man. Tighten up. Well, Jacques, bro, hey, man, I'm going to tell you something, bro. Great show. I'm excited, man. Hey, it's, let's get it in, man. Yes, so, sir. as we always say, and as we always do, Jacques, facts. No paper.